this is Kevin Mayo and let's drink some beer. Today we've got Worthington's White Shield, which is uh, originally from Burton upon the Trent. It is now owned by um, Wilson Coors. And it's 5.6% volume and it's our finest India Pale Ale for true IPA connoisseurs. I'm guessing that this is a traditional English IPA and not a super hoppy American IPA. Not a whole heck of a lot going on in the web about it. Um, their website just brought me to Molson Coors website. So we're going to go ahead and dive into it. Um, I do have my Imperial Pint Glass. Figured that would be appropriate. Looks like they can kept the traditional cap from the white shield that I saw online. It is bottle conditioned. We'll go ahead and give it a pour. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends and leave comments. I learn a lot from you guys and sometimes looking up answers or responding is really brings me a long way in my beer quest. A little aggressive on my pour. We got quite a bit of head on this. Probably a three, uh, probably four finger. Yeah, like a four finger head. It is cloudy, which you'd expect on a bottle condition. At this point, I do not, oh yep, there's some stuff floating around in it. A little bit of yeast floating around in it. A fair amount of carbonation and a very traditional bright orange that you would get on a true, you know, typical IPA. And again, very, I don't want to say un-American, but I am getting some floral notes, but I'm not getting that big, hoppy citrus burst that I would get on an American IPA. It's actually quite subdued. I do get, like I said, just maybe a small hint of citrus. And really, that's about it. I'm not picking up much else from it. Uh, it is bottle conditioned. I'll try to dump out a little bit more in a minute, see if that changes the flavor. Let me go ahead and give it a taste. Yes, this is not an American IPA at all. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. But you get a nice toasted malt flavor at the front of this. And, but not like a brown ale or anything like that, but just that you can taste it, maybe even closer to a lager. And you get a real solid bitter in the back. I'm guessing that this is probably very similar to the traditional IPAs that were brewed stronger with more hops so they would last when they were shipped to India. And I'm really guessing that this is probably closer to that because it, it's a nice smooth pale ale malt, mouth feel, I mean taste up front, mouth feel too. And then a strong bitter in the aftertaste. But you don't get that burst of juicy, piney, resiny hops that you get from the American beers. A little bit of sweetness in the middle. Believe it or not, I was detecting a hint of bubble gum. And it doesn't taste like bubble gum, but that was really the only thing that came into to mind. Let's go ahead and see uh, what happens when we swirl it up a little bit. Oh yeah, just sort of, yeah, we're getting some good stuff floating around in there now. No real change in the aroma. No real change in the flavor. Very good mouthfeel, very smooth, um, nice, smooth, robust malt flavor in the front. Just a very tasty mouth. You get a nice bitter in the after, but it doesn't overwhelm you in the aftertaste. 
overall a very pleasant, very drinkable beer. Uh, don't go into it thinking uh, Dogfish Head 60 minute or 90 minute or anything like that. It's not Heady Topper. It's not. It's a very traditional, or at least I think is a traditional English IPA. The only one I can really think of that we get around here a lot is the um, Brooklyn Brewery East India IPA, or East India Pale Ale, which I like a lot. I think it's a little maltier than this. This, I said, the malt is more subdued. It's more really to mouth feel. Very tasty. I have to say I like this a lot. It's a step back from the real in-your-mouth uh, bitter hop that you get from the Americans. Not that I don't love that, because I do love that. I would definitely drink this again. I think it's a solid, out of 178. Um, and the only reason is I think it's, like I said, it's not something I drink all, I would want to drink all the time, but it's something that I definitely enjoy. I would like to drink again, and I'll try it again. Till next time, keep drinking.